This is reel number six, and I'm doing a series of 12 lead ECG. All right, so let's break it apart. Where do we start? Because this is a doozy of a 12 lead. All right, we're going to start with leads two, three, and AVF. And what you can see is there is significant ST elevation in all of those leads. All right, let's find the mirror image or reciprocal change. Let's go to leads one and AVL, and you see some significant ST depression, especially in AVL, which is a very sensitive reciprocal change lead for an inferior wall MI. Now, anytime a patient has an inferior wall MI, we've got to go hunting for damage on two other walls. That would be the right ventricular wall and the posterior wall. To find a posterior wall MI, let's go to leads V1, 2, and V3, and we're going to look for the reciprocal change. The posterior wall is in the back, and we don't have leads on the back. So we're going to find the reciprocal change in V1, 2, and 3. And what we see here is significant ST depression, which signifies there's posterior wall involvement. 